Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another video. This is going to be something pretty important, um, at least to me, that I realized that I might have uh, missed a big step. Um, now, maybe it's not necessary, but um, six or seven months ago when I did the Haldex service on my car, everything was good, the fluid level, everything turned out perfect. But one thing that a lot of people notice is that at the track, um, I'm still spinning a crazy amount on the street. I'm still spinning a crazy amount. And I'm not sure the reason why, even if I air down, air up with the prep, I still have a big time uh, problem when it comes to spinning. Now, you know, I made sure that the pump primed and all that stuff, everything was perfectly fine, but it just felt like the car was still like super, 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 super like front wheel drive. Obviously these cars are front wheel drive biased, but it really felt like the car just was launching more like a front wheel drive car than it would a uh, all wheel drive car. And um, I started looking into like different um, OBD11 settings into forms and there's one thing that I came across that's uh, very interesting and uh, somebody put up a post that um, one thing if you are dealing with spinning even if you don't do a Haldex service but mainly after you do one if that makes sense there's something where you could basically do like a pump motor like relearn uh, something like that where um, basically it'll just uh, it'll run the pump run the pump run the pump and like basically reset its settings to work the way it's supposed to so remember everything in these cars are electronic so if you're noticing that you're having a lot of wheel spin um, coming out of corners driving spirited that the car's not doing exactly what you think it's supposed to be doing maybe you could try this it'll take maybe five minutes of your time if you have OBD 11 which is awesome but I'm gonna show you guys how to do like a uh, motor pump for the Haldex unit on these cars where uh, I'm gonna go out after doing this and try it out to see how the car feels and um, Again, uh, we'll see if it makes any kind of difference. All right, so we're at the home screen of OBD11, as you see right here next to me, and we're gonna click on the blue square. We're gonna scroll down to where it says all-wheel drive, right here. It's gonna load up. And we're gonna go down to the bottom where it says basic settings. We're gonna click on basic settings. And then the second option, you see where it says pump motor. Also, you could go up, it's resetting of all adaptation values you use. You could do something like that where you're trying to reset the entire system. Maybe there's something wrong, you have an error. Um, <clears throat> You could reset everything and it'll work as it did from factory. That's something cool, but I'm not going to be doing that in today's video. But that's something that you guys can look into um, if you want to reset the entire Haldex system. But what I'm going to be doing is where it says pump motor. It says status not active. You're going to click where it says pump motor with the drop down and you're going to put all adaptation values. You're going to slide to start. Make sure that your car is on, by the way. Your car has to be on. That's number one. It has to be on. And... Now it's going to go through a process. It's going to stop by itself. So this might take a couple of minutes. You're going to hear some noises from the system under you. That's perfectly normal. Okay. Yeah, I can hear it running right now. Because what it's doing, it's uh, making the pump run. And it's just pumping fluid and everything's circulating through the system. Uh, according to what the forum said online, a few people were vouching for it as well. That uh, after they did their Haldex service, um, it worked well. Um, even people who uh, were just having problem with their all-wheel drive system, they did this a couple of times and their car worked like normal. So I'm hoping that my spinning issues might have been have something to do with this. So uh, we'll see. But again, this shouldn't take any more than like a minute or two. So it's going to end by itself. You don't have to stop doing it. It'll stop by itself. So I'll see you guys once this is finished. All right, guys. So we're back. Uh, the whole pump motor process is finished now. That took about like two minutes. So uh, it doesn't take too long. Again, make sure that your car is running because uh, it needs to be running so that the entire system does what it has to do. Uh, you can't do it when the car is off. So now that that's finished, we can go back out. We'll go back to the main page and... Basically, that's all you need to do with OBD11. Now, we're going to go take the car on a drive and see how the car feels after doing this. Uh, I'm going to try and be able to do a launch to see um, two things about that. Number one, actually, no, three things about that. Number one, most importantly, I don't have many rows that I could do that on around here. Okay, so I might have to go to Mexico to do that. Number two, it is 44 degrees outside. And number three, I'm on the uh, stock wheels with the uh, regular all-season tires that are pumped up to like 40 pounds in each tire. So uh, it might spin. This may not be a good uh, indication of how well this did its job, but I guess we'll see. All right, guys. So we're going to be going out for a drive. I completely forgot about my GoPros. 
I uh, left them at home accidentally. So uh, I'm just gonna have to hold up the camera and uh, just drive this way. But I'm just gonna do a couple of rips. I don't think I'm gonna be able to launch the car. Uh, maybe like a, well, I might be able to do like a first to second just to see how traction is because one even issue that I used to have even when traction was on is that I would just, you know, uh, do like a second gear roll on and the traction light would just start to blink which is just again it doesn't make sense that uh something that's supposed to hook off of off of the rip wasn't so let's see what we could do all right let's see if we could give it a good okay so i will say that that felt decent I didn't notice any kind of uh, wheel spin and I do have traction control off on this so you guys know but I did not feel any kind of uh, weird wheel spin on that pull let's go this way again like I said it's like mid 40s right now it's cold I don't have great tires at the moment so I don't know how this is going to go but all right let's see Honestly, that feels pretty good. Um, I'm not getting any, like, even with traction off, I'm not getting any crazy wheel spin, which uh, I'm not gonna lie, again, I don't know if it's placebo, maybe it's a placebo effect, but I would definitely get a lot of wheel spin, even in like second and third with no traction, it would try and break loose. Uh, I remember I did a run around here on these roads a little while ago, like a few months back, and uh, coming out of corners, the car was spinning like crazy, like, I don't know, and this, uh, again, maybe it's just placebo, but, feels really good um, again what I was reading online is that the pump motor when you do that basic like reset setting it'll like uh, basically have the pump run the way it's supposed to from like factory again everything is like electronic I'm not a hundred percent sure what it does uh, entirely but it does something like that Wow no guys this feels Wow I mean that was a good pull right there that felt really freaking good Wow if you have OBD 11 guys, I would just try it out uh, because again, I'm. it's very hard for me to find a place to launch the car where I live here um, and I just don't have the time at the moment to uh, drive down to Mexico and uh, do a rip there. But from the couple of little pulls that I did, the car did not spin at all, zero. And uh, it is decently cold out. It's not like the cold is out there, but I'm not on my decent tires. I'm not on my lightweight wheels. I'm just on stock wheels and tires um, in mid 40 degree weather in the winter. And uh, the car didn't break traction loose like at all. Like it just, it planted and it went, it, it pulled very hard. I, you know, I keep remembering that when I was doing this, the car would just spin no matter what, the car would spin, 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 spin. And now, I don't know, it just felt very planted. So um, if you have OBD 11, I definitely recommend doing that. Uh, you can also reset the ad rotation values like you saw previously in the video where if you want to reset the entire thing completely instead of like running the pump to basically uh, in case there's something like a blockage, I guess, or something weird going on there, it'll um, make sure everything's in working order. And uh, people say that doing the pump motor run uh, on the OBD11 fix a lot of their issues. I mean, I've seen multiple forums on it now that I look for it that people are saying that it really helped their issues. So I'm gonna hope that it helped mine. Uh, when it gets a little warm out, we can test it or if I have a chance to go to Mexico one of these days, um, I can do a good rip and in, in the cold. If in the cold the car hooks, I know that I'll be good on the track in the springtime. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully this helps you out. I'm gonna be doing very soon another video on OBD11, like a full, like, walk through of it uh, many things that you could do different settings it's gonna be a nice lengthy video because uh, a lot of you guys on my other like the five best uh, OBD 11 tweaks uh, have asked me a lot of questions and have um, been wondering about so many different things and I want to just answer all of that in one video like a good put together nice video so all of you guys who have either a Volkswagen or Audi uh, from the MQB platform can do this and um, I don't know, I think it'll be beneficial for everybody. So uh, that's gonna be coming within the next couple of weeks, so look out for that video. Um, again, more stuff on the way. I've said this in my other couple of videos that I posted that uh, 
due to the holidays, it was super busy at work, so I wasn't able to really have the time in the past couple weeks to film too much. But now that the holidays are ended, pretty much, I can come out and really start to make a bunch of more videos. I have more parts coming in, and uh, you guys gotta stay tuned for that because I got my intercooler and my suspension that are gonna be going on soon once I receive those in the mail. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.